Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of like a two-in-one. There have been two videos I have been requested to do and share with you guys. The first is what's in my bag. This is my new Chanel bag. Michael got it for me as an early Christmas present, so I thought it was finally time that I share with you guys what I keep inside of it and just give it like some proper love in a video because it's so beautiful. And then to go along with that, actually, I've been getting so many questions to share how I brought, how I buy pre-loved or used luxury items from stores like eBay or Fashion File or whatever. So I'm gonna share with you guys my small collection of things that I have bought used and kind of like how I find them and what I look for and stuff like that. So first we'll do that, then we'll do that. <laughs> okay, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alex. Please subscribe. I make videos every week on purses, handbags, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all kinds of different stuff. So please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Okay, so let's get started with the bag. So this is my new bag, and like I said, it was an early Christmas present from Michael. It's my dream bag, my holy grail bag that I have wanted like my entire life. My first and only Chanel bag, and I absolutely love it. It's the jumbo caviar leather and black with the silver hardware. And I would have originally thought I wanted the gold hardware, but I am so glad I changed my mind and went with the silver. I think it looks super edgy and cool and different and a little bit unexpected. And I love this bag. I love everything about it. I think it's so beautiful. I just love looking at it. But I actually mentioned in my what I got for Christmas video, like I do not baby this bag. I use this bag every single day. Stuff. I use it every day since the day I got it. I take it with me to the grocery store, I take it with me to the movies, out to dinner, working stuff, like all kinds of stuff. This bag goes with me every day. It fits so much. So let's get started with what I keep in it. By the way, something about this, I just love the way this sounds and the way this feels and how it like instantly dresses up any outfit. By the way, for size, um, I am five foot three and I'm a pretty small person in general and I think the jumbo is like the perfect size for me. So it does have this back pocket on the front. I don't really keep much in here. The reason why I also, I should say, I got this pre-loved so I will talk about the story behind that before uh, after I show you guys what's in here. So in the back pocket I don't have much because it doesn't fit much. It's pretty flat. Just a Miranda Fry necklace and a hair tie. Put that back in there. Always good to have an extra necklace just, just on hand and a hair tie. You never know when you're gonna need that. The size and the shape actually remind me a lot of my Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton and that's one of my all-time favorite Louis bags. So I've really gotten used to this shape throughout the past year and I really love it. So when you open it up, it does have that double flap there, the really beautiful burgundy interior with the CC and the logo. And then this is kind of what it looks like. So it has one big open pocket and then it has a smaller kind of flat pocket in here. I don't really keep anything in there. I'll just hold it like this and pull things out. The first thing that I keep in one of the small pockets in the back is actually just the certificate of authenticity and the tag from Fashion File. You don't have to keep this. I just like to always keep all of my tags with my bags, whether I bought them brand new or pre-loved. I just usually keep them in the bag. You are going to see quite the collection of Rose Ballerine Louis Vuitton in here. It is one of my favorites. So I have the uh, key holder, the six ring key holder. I've had this for years. I really, really love this just because it's easy to always find my keys, easy to keep track of them. And I just think it's really beautiful. So it just looks like this. You open it up and it has the, I only have two keys. I have to add some more keys to that actually, but um, it has a really beautiful pink interior and I just love this. So I always use that. And then I have my wallet and my card holder. So for a while, and if I'm using small purses, I always just use the card holder. This is super nice. It fits like my ID, debit cards, credit cards, like the basics that you need to take with you. But this wallet actually is great when you have a lot of different cards. And now that we've opened up the second business, I just have a lot more things that I have to carry with me. So I carry both of these and I love them both. This is just the card holder that I have with the gold hot stamp. I love that one. And then this wallet I've had for about a year now and I love this one as well. It also has a nice spot like to, ooh, I have 20 bucks in there. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I didn't know that. I can go shopping. So yeah, I have a little cash pocket in there too. So those are the kind of big things. Everything else I just kind of throw in here 
First off, I have these sunglasses. I've gotten so many questions about these sunglasses. I actually found these and showed them in my women's gift guide for Christmas this year because I thought they looked like Celine. The brand is Les Spec and they just, they're oversized, they're a cat eye, they have a gold band on the top. They just look good on everyone, every face shape, and I love them. I think they're like $65. They're a really great price, but they're a super nice sunglass. Okay, I have some snacks. This is the Annie's little bunny grams or like little teddy grams when you are pregnant. Sometimes you can get nauseous or really hungry, so I always keep either like a little bar or a tiny little snack in my purse just in case for when we're out and about. I try to always bring something and I always bring water, but it's nice just to have like a little pre-made snack like that just in case, you never know. I also have my eyelash, uh, what are these called? Just like little mascara ones. They're just in a little case. I'm assuming eyelashes were in here, but my lady just gave me this. And I have a bunch of mascara ones so I can always brush out my lash extensions. A lot of you ask how I take care of them. I just brush them with these little wands morning and night. Um, if I wear eye makeup, I'll use baby shampoo to get it off and that is it. There is no, no other secret trick. That's the only thing I do to them and I love them. For length, you guys always ask, I get 16 and 17 for length. Okay, I also have some lip products in here. Oh, and more mascara wands. And I actually need to leave one up here because I'm always running out of them in the bathroom, but they're all in my purse, apparently. Okay, lip products, I do always keep a lip balm. It's so dry outside right now. This one is from Caudalie. I like this one. I like ones that are more of like a lip, Ooh, more of like a lipstick formula for when I'm out and about. I don't want to like put my hand in a pot. So this one from Caudalie is great and Michael can use it too and it's not like glossy or anything. So this is the Caudalie Lip Conditioner Nourishes Antioxidant. So that one's really good. I usually keep a hand cream in here from Aveda too. I can actually see it right over there. Like just a little hand cream, but it's not in here at the moment. Uh, this lip gloss is really good. This is from Kiko and it's like an Italian drugstore brand. It's called the 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in shade number two. It's the prettiest nude champagne goldy lip gloss and I think it was like $5. I ordered it online. I love that lip gloss. I have a MAC lip gloss in here that I've been wearing a lot too. Just another peachy nude. It's called N-U-D-E. Of course, I have my favorite Laura Mercier lipsticks. They are the Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. I wear these every single day. I love them. I have every color in my purse right now. I have Fresh and Vibe. Fresh is a little bit darker, so I'll use that kind of as like the outline. And then Vibe is a really pretty nude, and I'll use that in the middle. I just love every color though, so really love these. They last all day like a liquid lipstick, but they're not as drying to, as a liquid lipstick, and they're so much easier to put on because it's just a little crayon. Okay, I have another hair tie and some my little earrings, these are from Dior. I love these earrings and I never wear them enough, but um, I don't know why they're in here. Maybe we went somewhere and I needed to bring them. So anyways, these are just my little tribal gold earrings from Dior. I'm gonna put those back in my jewelry box. We're getting near the bottom. Last thing I have are two receipts. One from the UPS store and one from the nail salon. <laughs> my two places that I frequent a lot. So that is everything that I keep in my purse. So now how do I go about choosing like what to buy new and what to buy used? And that's really just going to depend on you and what you look for in a bag. So for me personally, there are some things where I just know I would want that brand new or where it would be too hard to find used um, or where it's marked up used. It's even more expensive to get things, you know, pre-loved than it would be to just to buy it new. And just if that's just what I want to do. So, you know, it just really depends on the specific item. Something like this, I knew that I didn't want to get it in the store. I knew that if I could save a ton of money, I was going to do that. So I found a really good deal on this one. I found it on Fashion File. That is my number one place I recommend shopping for, you know, pre-loved luxury items from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Hermes, all of that. I think that they have a really great selection and they have a really user-friendly easy to look at website like it's really pleasing to the eye it's easy to navigate their website to understand they have great pictures they really explain things well you are guaranteed like 100 percent that everything is authentic so you don't ever have to worry about that you know it's just comparing prices and what the looks of different things are you know how just how used the bag has been or if maybe it hasn't ever been used and it came with tags on it like you can get all kinds of stuff so this 
I mean, this was barely ever used. I know that I've used it more in the month that I've had it than whoever had it before me used it because it was like brand spanking new when I opened it and I saved a ton of money and it looks just as good. So no one would ever know and that would be really weird if someone cared where you got your bag from. As long as it's authentic, then no one should care where you got it from. So my first purchase that I bought pre-loved was actually another bag. It's kind of similar. Um, this one is from Louis and oh, I love this bag. I did a whole video on um, what's in my bag for this years ago and I bought it. So I'll link it down below. Um, it'll be funny to look back at that video when I link it. But anyways, this was the bag that the first thing I ever bought, I think maybe the first or second, I'll, I'll show you guys the other thing in a second. Um, but this is the first thing I ever bought from Fashion File and that's when I really fell in love with the website. I believe when this one came, it, w it hadn't been used. It was brand new. It's the Louis Vuitton Montaigne in the black emprunt leather and this bag is beautiful. I don't use it as much as I should. Um, and I always think like, oh yeah, I want to use that bag. But then like I try to use all my bags. If you guys are handbag collectors like I am, then you know how it is when you like want to give everything the same amount of love and attention, <laughs> even though they're just bags. But anyways, I just love this one. I think it's so beautiful as the perfect amount of structure and slouch to it. And this one, I got the gold hardware. So you can probably tell here it has the gold hardware, the little rivets there. It does have that really big pocket. I have this pom-pom attached to it from l and I love her stuff too. So it has like the gold pocket in the middle with the gold hardware. So I knew that I had this black bag with gold hardware and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get the silver hardware in this just to have something a little bit different. Um, but a bag like that I like without charms. This one, I love the look of it with charms because it's a little bit more slouchy. I love how it's always open. I just think it looks really cool except you guys are never gonna leave what I have in here. I haven't used this bag since last winter and I have a pair of white mittens in there and just a bunch of like paperwork and like cords and weird stuff. I need to really go through and clean out my purses. But this was what made me fall in love with the Fashion File and their service. It came like, I have a fuzz now. It came wrapped so like beautifully and it came shipped on time and they had great customer service. You can always email and ask for more photos and it's just a great place to shop. Now, another place you can shop is eBay and I have got one thing from eBay and I love this and I can honestly say this is my most used piece of luxury or designer items that I own. I use this thing every single day on every single trip that I go on. Just, I use this nonstop. So I found this on eBay. It is a clutch, um, or not a clutch, it's a makeup bag, like a toiletry bag that Louis Vuitton no longer makes. I think, uh, I forget the exact name of this, but I will link it down below or write the name out for you. And I think the size is like 28 or something. It's just a really big, nice makeup bag. The reason I wanted to get this pre-loved was because I knew that I just wanted to use this and I didn't want to baby it and I wanted to just be able to throw my liquids and powders in there and not care if it got dirty. So I wanted to find a really good deal on it, but I knew that if this, you know, was it's vintage, it's like 20 years old. So I knew if it lasted this long, like it'll last me years and years and I don't have to like be super careful with it. So I love this. Um, actually, you know who's really good at helping find like really reputable eBay sellers is Jerusha Couture. I love her channel and she always like has a list of like the eBay sellers that she recommends and like in her description box and she has a bunch of videos on it. Um, other YouTubers that I love for recommendations on stuff would be like Shay or Lux Mommy. Um, Ali Sabdalis, like all those girls. So I'll actually write their channel names and link them down below. You guys should check them out. They have a lot of good recommendations. But anyways, I found this on eBay and I think I found the link through Jerusha. Like I found the seller through her years ago and it's just, it had like a really nice zipper. It, everything looked great about it. It was 100% authentic. I have makeup in here right now because I do use this every single day and I've totally trashed it but it's the best. I think it is so cool and you can fit so much in here. I can fit like enough makeup to last me a lifetime in this bag because it is so big. You could also use it to pack electronics or pack skincare or pack maybe like swimsuits or bras and underwear or anything. Like you could use this for anything. It's great for travel and I think it's awesome. Even if you had like a really big tote bag or a backpack, you could use this kind of like to organize your stuff inside the bag. 
and this was from eBay, so this was a really good score. Next up, I have my two most recent things that I have gotten pre-loved, and I've wanted a Chanel brooch for years now, and I thought this one was so beautiful. It's a silver brooch, and it has the pearls, and then it has what looks like the bag strap on the other C. So I got this off of Fashion File as well. A lot of you guys have asked me where I bought this and I just think it's so cool. Now things like the earrings and the brooches, I think you could personally go into the store and get maybe even a lower price or the same price. Sometimes these are marked up online. However, when you go into the store, you don't always have the full selection. I knew that I wanted this exact one. So that's why I was willing to pay maybe like, you know, the same as retail or even a little bit more. I forgot what I paid for this. A couple hundred bucks. Um, but I wear this all the time. I love this. I think it dresses up any outfit. You guys, if you watch the vlog channel, then you've seen me wear this so many times. I've given so many ideas. I wear this on my vests all the time, on my jackets. I've worn it on like my little beanies a lot, or I'll wear it just on little sweaters. You could even pin it, you know, like on the strap here, and that would look super cute. You can pin it to scarves. You could pin it on a necklace and kind of wear it as a necklace. Like you could do so many things with these brooches that I think this really just elevates any collection. So if you don't have a Chanel brooch yet um, and you're into luxury and stuff like that, I would definitely look into getting one. I just think they're so pretty and they'll last you for years. Something that would be really nice to like hand down to someone in the future too. I think it's really cool. And then this actually, this was a good find. So I really love Dior and I've gotten a couple of things from them, but I do feel like it's not like one of my favorite brands. Like I'd say my favorite is Louis Vuitton and then it goes Chanel and Gucci, kind of the same. But Dior has come out with some really cool stuff over the past couple of years, very like chic stuff. And especially like this past season, like this past year, they came out with some really cool stuff. And I got a couple of things, but then I really wanted this specific piece. And I just thought it was way too expensive, full price. And I went and looked at it like a bunch of times and I just kept saying like, no, it's just too much for what it is. So then I found it on Vestier Collective or Vestier. So, oh, you know who else is really good? Christina Braley. That's who I found out about Vestier uh, Collective from. I'm pretty sure if I get things confused, sorry, pregnancy brain, but I'm pretty sure that's where I found out about that website from. So it's another pre-loved website and I found this really beautiful Dior choker. So it's like a black ribbon and then it has the Dior logo right there. It looks so cute on. I need to wear this more often, but with like a gray t-shirt or a black t-shirt and like a leather jacket or a denim jacket, it looks so cute on. So I believe I found this for half the price on Vestier. So they are another pre-loved website where you can find items. I don't love their website as much. Like looks wise, it's a little bit harder to navigate. So it's more of like a marketplace like on Fashion File, you sell your bag directly to Fashion File and then they like resell it for you. I think that they take the pictures for you and stuff. On Vestier, it's kind of like a marketplace where everyone could kind of like import their photos. I don't know exactly, but it, that's what it looks like when you go on there. Like any seller could be on there and they can import their photos. And then when you buy something, it takes a little bit longer to ship because the seller has to then ship the piece to Vestier, they authenticate it, make sure it's 100% real, and then they send it to you. So I really do love that process, and I love that they really 100% authenticate it, so I know I'm getting a real piece, but it just takes a little bit longer for shipping, and it makes the website a little bit harder to navigate. Um, but definitely check them both out. They're fun just to like look around on there. eBay too, it's fun just to kind of like look and browse and see kind of what the price point is for a pre-loved item and you know, just check it out. And that is everything that I've ever bought <laughs> pre-loved or used. I hope you guys enjoyed that what's in my bag. Definitely check out those other women that I mentioned. They have great channels. You guys always ask me like what channels I love to watch. Love watching them. So definitely check them out. Tell them I sent you and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.